Hey, it's Kevin the Paracordist. I recently put a post on my Facebook fan page asking you what video you'd like to see next. And the one with the most response was the quick release keychain bola. Now I'm going to start with 15 feet of paracord. I'm going to prep the ends because I do want to use my paracord needles, paracord fids. Cut it at a nice angle. and then burn. There we go. And then the next end. Great. Okay, I tie the quick release keychain bolas with a three quarter inch ball bearing, which uh, you can buy at my site, paracordist.com. And um, the steel needles, which I'm going to thread on now, have also just come back in stock at paracordist.com. Okay. Now I'm going to start in about five feet in from one of the ends, the end that I put the steel fit on, and I'm going to tie this in my hand. I'll tie up to uh, five pass monkey's fist in my hand instead of using my monkey's fist jig. And um, this item here, three quarter inch bearing, is going to be a four pass monkey's fist. So first, let's set the bearing down momentarily. I'll use three fingers. Spread out my fingers. And wrap four times. Like that. Then I'm going to take out my middle finger, rest the ball bearing between the two fingers. I could actually stand for that to be a bit tighter. So I'm going to tighten, close those fingers up a little bit. The less tightening you have to do at the end, the better. And put that bearing back in there, a little bit tighter fit. Alright, now I take this, I go back, and around. Four times. A bit of light there. One, two, three, four. All right, one more time through. Make four all around. Okay. Now the next step, this is where the um, the paracord fit comes in real handy, is going to be going in here and out right here. So going that way. Alright, so I'm going to send this right in there inside my finger. And then through here. And now continue four this way. No twists. And no 
Animal Crossing. Now it's going to start to get tight here in my fingers. Because I've done a couple of passes, it kind of holds in place. I can just take my fingers off like that. Sorry. And it's much, much easier just to feed it through now. Finish with it off my fingers. Now you can use the jig obviously for any size monkey fish, small or large. But since I started tying them this way before I used the jig, I kind of just do it when I do these small ones. All right. So that's the monkey fist formed. I have a, a separate video, which I throw a quick link to at this moment, showing how to tighten a monkey's fist, so I'm not going to spend this video time doing that. Okay, where I'm at, I tied the quick monkey's fist, then I've tied a lanyard knot. Again, I'm not going to use the video to show you how to tie the lanyard knot. I'll instead link a video where I spend more time on the lanyard knot. I'm going to use the working end here, which is the short piece that's left not the piece that's going to the other monkey's fist for the bola. I'm going to use that to double this knot. I've done a number of other videos related to range of pacing beads and other uh, items where I've shown how to double it and I've usually done it with both strands. In this case I'm going to double it entirely with this single strand. So I'm going to back that strand out. And I'm going to cross over the strand that's coming out of the monkey's fist and follow parallel to it on the top side. Now, I don't want to pull this first pass too tight. I want to keep this sort of underneath it here, like that. If I pull it too tight, I'm going to mess it up. And now I follow parallel and next to that strand all the way around now other items as I mentioned that I double I often would take, follow this strand down and out the bottom, then back this strand out and use it to double the rest of the knot. In this case, I'm going to just keep working with this strand following this piece. Now I'm going to go along this side of it. I'm going to go under these two and follow parallel to this cord up here. When the whole knot is dressed and tightened, it's going to appear as though this cord and this cord are the same, when in actuality they're two different cords. No twist here. No twists, sorry. Okay, no twists. And finally, rather than come up here, rather than go through this under these two and up here, I'm going to go down into the middle of the knot so that I'll be able to cut and finish down below. All right, now I have to uh, tighten and dress this knot so it's right up against the monkey's fist. And I will cut and burn that end close. And I'll be able to go to the other side and show you part two of the video, how to tie the monkey's fist on the other end.